Well, God doesn't really giveth and taketh away in a nasty, mean sort of a sense. Instead, I think the principle I'm trying to convey is not God being uh, anything but more than a, a God desiring a relationship with us. I didn't understand that God wanted a relationship with me, little, little, little old me, whether I had a big head or not. God was interested in having a relationship with me, so he's willing to take away the distractions. Not in a mean or nasty sort of way, but in a way that says, hey, I love you. I want to have a relationship with you, and that's the most important thing to me. I would absolutely love to have you em embrace this relationship. When God takes things away, it's not him being nasty or mean. It's not him trying to make your life miserable. The stuff's already going to rot. Instead, it's God taking you and drawing you to him. Drawing you towards an intimate relationship. That word intimacy is not used except for to describe sex far too often. Instead, God is looking for a deep, passionate, soulful relationship. That's something that really meant a lot to me. Instead of Christianity just being a worldly oriented religion just affecting the world instead it was God striving to have a relationship with mankind and that touched me in a big way unfortunately again as a teenager I didn't get the fact that the stuff was rotting and the stuff was going away and that instead I should focus on the Lord instead well instead I focused on the stuff and God was second rate and second best and got the second most of my attention instead of what fortunately now is a life of oh it's a lifestyle focused on, on Jesus Christ but uh, took me a while to get there hopefully you don't have to do that instead as we mirror Christ as we mirror our, our relationship with God finances become not a burden they become not a distraction, they, became, they become an outworking of our relationship with Him. We want to be good stewards of that money. We want to grow as we walk in the Lord. And we start to recognize Philippians 4, 18 and 19 apply to God's work in our lives. God supplies the need and He supplies the fulfillment of those needs. Sorry, that's my in-law's dog if you're hearing clickety-clackety, jingly sounds in the background. But God gave me the dog to be a distraction too right now. He knew exactly what needed to be in this podcast. All right, I'll see you later. And, well, hopefully next week, well, we'll get on to the next lesson.